Hey, welcome back. <clears throat> Mike Sarkozy with Piney Ridge Garage, and we're back today, and we've got a project on a 29-foot snowmobile trailer. This arrived today. Our diesel heater. We're going to do it a little unboxing and install it. Okay, this is it. Went with the, I guess it's a court a calorie, something like that. Anyways, one of them Chinesey diesel heaters. We're gonna put it here in the trailer. This is the spot I believe we're gonna do it. And uh, we'll get started on that. First, we're gonna do an unboxing. I'll get everything out, lay it out up here on this cart. Let's see what we got. Alright. Ordered this on eBay. You can get them on Amazon, eBay. Odd places probably. I got this one. And I think it was $145, $46. I think. And uh, push uh, some tax. Anyways, there's uh, some feet, muffler mounting kit, instructions. Let me set this down here. Scoop. Air pipe and uh, air intake. So what else we got here? Then we got a certain clamps, air intake, and a remote control. So let's to the remote control. So we'll set some of this down here. Take a look at this. Seems solid. Nothing seems something seems to be broke. Oh boy, look at that. That's kind of a goofy deal. I don't like how that was kinked off, but this goofy green fuel line. Oh well. We'll see what we got to do. We may have to change that a little. One's exhaust, one's air intake. I'm not sure which yet. But then uh, we got these feet. And, uh, so you can mount it, I guess, here on these feet. Or add these. Up probably going to end up adding these to it just because of the way I'm going to build it mount it but 
probably what we're gonna do. Maybe. Ooh, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. This is a fuel tank. All right. There it is. That's only three inch. Ah, I thought it was four. It's a three inch out one. All right. So here's those feet they send. Like I say, they just snap up into there. I am thinking that's what I'm going to do. I didn't think I would tap them up in there. Once we get to it. I think what I want to do first, take these screws off, take this off, look at everything underneath. We'll show you what's underneath. Egg. Okay. Okay, we want to check everything underneath this. tank sits here they just they sit on top of the heater itself this is the heater down here everything is pretty tight and compact okay there's the controller Could be removable. It's got clamps here. This is the little pump that comes on it, and uh, everything's. It's got a filter. Looks like, and then it comes down. It comes down through here to feed the burner. So we're gonna have to make some. Definitely gonna have to do something with this thing because this is kinked and. Everything looks good, not broke. That's good. This is the 12 volt power pack. It's got a fuse. Hook it to the battery. Probably end up making a switch eventually, but here's the air intake. This is the exhaust for heat out. Okay. Like I say, they do give you this manual. It's got English, Dutch, France, Italian, Spanish, Russian, Czechoslovakia, Polish, Shish. all sorts of languages. So, we'll uh, refer to it as we move on. So. So right here is where I believe we're going to work, work on installing it. I've got these brackets. We'll put one here in the corner so there's a rib here. And I'll put the other one right here. And then we've got this aluminum angle iron. And then that I'll cut in half and run two rails here for that to sit on top of. Then that'll sit on there <clears throat> about this height here. Put the fuel in. That way it's ele it's uh, elevated so snowmobile as we bring snowmobiles in it'll it'll uh, you know not hit it down here low, but uh, the exhaust will go out in here somewhere and. Uh, Got the through wall exhaust port I'm going to use. 
this style here so we got that and then that'll go through the wall come through from the other side and uh, the exhaust pipe will just hook right to it I think that'll work pretty good yeah we'll figure it out all right pretty slick it's all stainless all right well we're back I got I didn't get the video going but so I've got these brackets just a shelf bracket mounted to those like I said single aluminum angle got them mounted for now got these holes drilled and we're about ready to set the heater up on it That was your drill, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Maybe. Yep, no turning back now. I've said that several times. <laughs> said that several times. Side door vents, roof yeah. vents. <laughs> Trailer, it was damaged. <laughs> At some point, we didn't get turned back anymore. All right, I like it. There we go, forward. folks. There we go. <laughs> to go put this in. We gotta drill holes. Well, yeah, yeah I, I need real tiny screws. That's what those are. And hold through. 
So I'm guessing three sixteenths should do it. Easy, you almost got my hand. Here you go, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Whoo, almost got my hand again. Alright. Jeez. Here's the rubber. You got a rubber, you said? Oh, two rubbers. One on the one inside. inside. You know what they say, if one rubber won't work, two wouldn't. Two never will? Right. You don't double yours? It's just like those. It's just like them snap-ons. Alright, so we got Matt here from Wyoming Overland helping out. Alright. These are like clamps for that exhaust thing? Yeah. There's a bunch of them here. I don't have any diesel. Alright, well, you're in luck. I don't either. No. <laughs> no I, I, I have a can in the back of my truck though. Empty can. Empty can. Well, I gotta really double check, make sure I know which one's the exhaust. <laughs> You'll find out. I know. <laughs> so that, yeah, this one too. Oh. <laughs> look at this. Look at this fuel line. Came in his box all kink. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah. All kinked. So the fuel comes from the tank and then back around the bottom. Huh? Well, this is from the pump. Right. Yep. So yeah, I gotta cut fine. that off and re put it up there. Uh, it'll be fine. It would be more fuel efficient that way. Yeah, right. I just gotta put this on. What do you need that for? It's air intake. It's just in here, isn't it? It's supposed to have a put that little filter thing on. Yeah, yeah, put that on. It's not made for it. Right. Yeah, we just throw them in. I mean, they're just grabbing from boxes of stuff. Oh, look at that. She's got a remote controller. Oh, she's got a remote controller. Jeez. Oh, yeah, Hopefully that works from like 15 miles up the trail so you can start it before <laughs> you get back. So you need diesel fuel? Do you want me to get you some diesel yeah, fuel? Yeah, we need diesel fuel. While you finish like wiring this up or something? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so we got this mounted through the, through the sidewall. So... We put the clamps on here, here, got the air intake. All right, got that on. We're just going to tuck it up, up back here, probably zip tie it. Get a couple clamps on this. should work. I'll leave that there. It's kind of out of the way. You do get a little heat off it they say. We'll, we'll see. All right now we got wiring. All right so we've got battery. Today's uh, sponsor is Mike's camper. My camper. Anyways, I'll set this right here for now. and minus here. There we go. That took way longer than necessary. Why? I pulled the thing and it was like two cents a second. Like oh, geez. that slow. 
Apparently she's a little cold out there. It'd be flowing diesel fuel at the pump. Mm -hmm. Apparently. Wonder how cold it is out. It says ten, so I don't think it's that bad. Ooh. It feels worth it. Yeah. Use it in your car. Oh, get in there. Okay, use it in your car. Yeah. Okay, it says it right there. New energy vehicles, oh, diesel yeah. vehicles, yeah. SUVs, engineering vehicles. Okay. <laughs> Indoors. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know what an engineering vehicle is. Apparently it's a tractor. So, yeah, everything tractor. else. Apparently it's a tractor with a loader blade. Well, tractors are engineered. Cars aren't. It's parking or what? That's so we're going to do the right thing and just put these under the wing nut. There you go. Let's see. Close what happens. Close enough. I'm going to make another one here. About time for a smoke test in more ways than one. That's right. First is the electrical smoke test. Oh, we got life. Got lights? Yeah. All right, we've got the battery connected. And it's midnight. And it's 12 o'clock somewhere. All right. Like, like most fuel. things, you just hit buttons. Need fuel. Oh, yeah. Let's put some fuel in there. Shoot. We'll fix it in a minute. Go ahead and get some fuel in there. It's not going to go through the pump. Let's see how oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my word. Yeah, that was old rust. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Oh my gosh, the government. It's that cold. No way. My cans froze. It was froze. On a light, we can warm it up with a heat. Yeah, I, get I got a, a torch. Give a torch. <laughs> get a torch. It's got like a fast fuel system. Don't break the can tank. <laughs> with all that, with all that weight. It's one of those. In order to get fuel into it, we need it to run to thaw out the fuel tank. Yeah. To pour the fuel into it. Not for now. Not for now. Well, at least uh, you're barely over the intake. <laughs> okay. Probably need a little more. <laughs> they ain't even close to empty. <laughs> I know. You got a vent up there? It's fancy. Yeah, now we can see in there. You're an inch or so above it. Perfect. Perfect. You get like a boat tank for this thing. Right. You just fill it out ahead of time. Oh yeah, look at you're way up there. Yeah, look at that. Flat prime it. Oop. Right. Oh. We got life. Okay, so I think you gotta push that little I don't know. That little O with an I in it thing, I bet. Where is it? I can't see it. The one in closest to the wall. Power. It says on. Oh. Well, at least we can understand what it says. I don't know what it said, but let's blow in air. That, but we're blowing air. We're gonna have to purge this. So See what do you have to do to do that? Listen, try it a couple times. <laughs> the pump ain't started. Is yet. that Russian or Chinese? <laughs> it's a good question. Got it done now. Got that little kick off. All right, try it again. Yeah, that's, know, Rus that's, that's, that's Russian. Is. I'm pretty sure. Great. Well, they say these. Some of these are. They call them Chinese, but the Russians do build some. I've watched a couple guys talk about that. I don't hear any fuel pump. 
No, it's got a warm. It's got a go through. It's got a Wi-Fi symbol. Oh yeah, it does. That must mean it has Wi-Fi. Maybe. Now we have internet. We'll find out. Yeah, shoot, we could watch TV. <laughs> see what the box in the garage is doing. I don't see any fuel coming out of that little hose. Oh, yeah, you ain't even hearing it. It goes tick, 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 tick. Like that's actually like running, running? Let's yeah. see. Oh, 36C. It's all Celsius. Great. Yeah. Now we're going to know what temperature it is. I have to get a chart and write it down here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it does, huh? It's just on or off. Oh, the level right there. Okay. Yeah, the level. So make it high. I don't hear no fuel pumping. I don't know. Clicky clacking. Let me read the instructions. Yeah, I don't know if I can read them. Oh, there's the pump. It's going. It's working. I just turned it up. Oh. On the temperature. It's up as high as it goes. 36C. I, I don't guess. know what that is. It's like 100 know. degrees? I'm not sure what it is right now. Some, somebody in the comments will tell us. Yeah. It's like, tell me what that conversion is. I forgot, but I should be able to know it. All right, let's look at our little field out here. See if there's any. She's trying. Good. Is there any fuel yet? Working. Might have to cycle it a couple times because it may shut off on no fuel. That's what oh, I hear. she's ramping up. Yep. All right, we're back. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Gotta get air out. She's lighting. Let's go check it out outside here. Light. Yep. Yeah. I think we got some fire. Just a little bit of smell at first, but it's pretty clean looking. Just looks like water vapor pretty much. on a John Deere tractor. Put, 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 Poppin' Johnny. Holy smokes. Smoking? No, it's just taking off. Like we're going into orbit. Cool. Is that getting warm? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's getting warm. Yep. Well, it does come with a remote. We'll mess with that another time. Oh, yeah, getting warm. Gotta have our favorite refreshment. Here and here. Anyways. Kinda wanna get this going for this weekend. We're gonna go snowmobiling here in Wyoming. Saturday and Sunday and we'll have it warm, warmed up in here so it melts the sleds off and we can change and stay in the warm trailer, and that's the thought. Oh, yeah. <coughs> well, we got it running. And... Can't see my breath in here, so it's above freezing. It's still cold. But it's still cold. Um, but we got this thing running. It is... Right now, it's... 648 so we've had it running for maybe 10 minutes we're gonna go get something to eat we'll come back in here and see how warm it is okay well it's been running a, like a good hour in here now and it's uh 55 to 60. anyway so it's an 8kw which is about 27,000 btus Matt with one Mike of Pine Ridge Garage and just gonna wrap up this video on this uh, Chinese diesel heater. We uh, last night we got back from snowmobiling and about 6.30 we decided to leave the heater on and we filled the fuel tank completely full because during while we were snowmobiling we had it run all day long. It didn't even go through the whole tank. 
Got here in like say about 6.30 last night, filled it up, let it run all night here back at the house and you can kind of hear it run, which is very quiet. But anyways, about 8 o'clock got up and uh, it was minus 14 out in the morning when we got up at 8. So I don't know how cold it got through the night, but minus 14 when we got up. Come out here, check the fuel. She just, she wasn't empty, but uh, right down to the pickup tube. So filled it back up, and so that thing ran all night long. Did really good on fuel. So we go inside. And I don't have a thermometer. One of these days I'm gonna get one in here, but coat off, and I'm in a t-shirt, and it's very comfortable in here. There's no sweating going on. Drying the floor out quite a bit. Anyways, yes, this uh, diesel heater has been, I think, a good investment for the trailer. Wrap this up, so please hit that like button. If you like this, uh, share with others, please. Encourage uh, others to watch it and subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel and uh, hit that bell for notifications and you'll get uh, notified when new videos come out from Pine Ridge Garage. Again, thanks for watching. Have fun while you're getting it done.